Reducing urinary tract infections in any healthcare setting is a major priority. The use of bladder scanners as part of a catheter care program can help reduce the number of unnecessary intermittent and indwelling catheterizations associated with UTIs and may be used by hospitals, community continents and district nursing services in assisted living and palliative care facilities and by home help agencies. The Biocon 700 bladder scanner should not be used in the following cases. Fetal use or in pregnant patients, patients with ascites, patients with open wounds or damaged skin in the suprapubic region. The Biocon 700 bladder scanner is an easy to use battery operated ultrasound scanner for determining bladder volume and urinary retention in both adults and children. The scanner's principal method of operation is via a large 7-inch colour touchscreen. The unit incorporates an integral printer for recording and a data card for storing up to 700 patient records. The built-in battery will provide power for up to 4 hours of scanning and the unit will automatically shut down to save battery power after 7 minutes of inactivity. On the side of the scanner is a dedicated scan key. Ensure that the probe is connected to the scanner. To connect the probe correctly, push the probe connector firmly into the probe socket until it locks in place with a click. Ensure that the white indicator writing is facing towards the front of the scanner. To remove the probe, squeeze the two spring-loaded grips on the probe connector simultaneously and pull. The scanner should be plugged into a mains outlet and charging when not in use. To connect the mains charger unit, push the power input plug into the lower DC input socket, ensuring that the white indicator writing is facing towards the front of the scanner. A green light will glow, confirming connection to mains power, which will turn orange when the battery is receiving charge. The batteries for the Biocon 700 are integral to the unit and charge whilst in place in the scanner. To switch the scanner on, press and hold the power button until the screen lights up. Using the touch screen, you may initiate a scan, select the correct patient type, review all saved patient records and set up your scanner. Date and time and battery level are also displayed. The Biocon 700 calculates its readings by looking at the size, shape and position of the bladder. It is therefore important that the appropriate type of patient is selected from either the male, female or child options. If your female patient has had a hysterectomy, the male setting must be selected. The child setting should be selected for children whose height is less than 120 centimeters and weight less than 25 kilograms. Make sure the patient is lying on their back and as comfortable as possible. Turn the scanner on and select the appropriate patient type. Ultrasound transmission gel should be used, placed either on the probe or directly on the patient. The ultrasound probe should be positioned following the body diagram on the side of the probe, with the scan button to the right side of the patient's body. Position the probe a few inches below the patient's navel at an angle of 60 degrees pointing towards the patient's feet. The Biocon 700 has a unique feature called Prescan that allows you to locate the bladder prior to obtaining a reading, which takes the guesswork out of positioning the probe and improves accuracy. To begin the Prescan, press and release any of the scan buttons on either the probe or the scanner. A live view of the scanned image will appear on the screen. Manipulate the probe until the best view of the bladder is achieved which should be centred over the green line and be as large as possible. 
Once the probe is in the optimal position, depress and release any of the scan buttons again, making sure that the probe is held perfectly still. The screen will read scanning. Once the scan is complete, the unit will display the scanned image along with the bladder volume in millilitres. You may enter a patient identification by selecting the ID field on the screen. Once you've entered the patient information, press OK to save. If required, the scanned information may be saved to the scanner's memory card, which may be uploaded to a computer, or printed out on the scanner's integral printer. Let's take a look at the information displayed on the screen in more detail. Images from both the horizontal plane and vertical plane will be shown. The current volume will be displayed along with the maximum volume captured should more than one measurement be taken. It is important to remember that when printing the readings, it is this maximum volume that will be printed along with the scanned images associated with that reading. The maximum volume reading may be erased by selecting New Patient. All readings not saved will be lost when the scanner powers down. There are three ways to confirm that the reading taken is good. Firstly, the scanned images displayed will be outlined in red and blue, which should match the image of the bladder perfectly. If for some reason the outline misses part of the bladder, or maps an area larger than the bladder, this may indicate that the reading may not be totally accurate and a repeat reading may need to be taken. Secondly, the area scanned will be displayed under each of the images. As a full bladder should be uniform in shape, these measurements should be relatively close together. If not, this again may indicate that the reading may not be totally accurate and a repeat reading may need to be taken. Thirdly, the representation of the bladder should be centered within the target area. Any part of the bladder outside the target area will not be measured and would indicate that the reading may not be totally accurate and repeat reading may need to be taken. If you are in any doubt about the readings, please consult a specialist. From the home screen, save data may be retrieved by selecting Review from the menu options. Select the required patient record from the list to view and print if required. For full details on setting up the scanner and for cleaning guidelines, please refer to the operator's manual. Patient readings may be printed out on the Biocon 700's integral thermal printer, which requires no ink and is located on the back of the unit. The edge of the printer paper will be shaded red towards the end of the roll, indicating that a replacement will soon be required. To change the paper, release the printer housing door by lifting up the grey lever adjacent to the printer. Remove the spent roll and discard. Insert the new roll into the paper cradle with the paper pulling from underneath. The paper does not need to be fed through any rollers. Close the printer housing door, ensuring that it clicks shut, leaving a small amount of paper exposed. Confirm that the printer is operating correctly by activating the print function, which can only be done when the scanner is displaying a reading. If the printout is blank, check that the paper has been installed correctly. For more information on your Biocon 700 bladder scanner, please contact DeSmit Medical on 0845 345 4226 or email sales at desmitmedical.com.